So I'm sure that you've heard of a person being called an extrovert or even an introvert, but have you ever heard of an ambivert? <laughs> well, you might be one and not even know it. So I'm gonna break it down in this video for you right now. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. So today we have another anonymous question that fits perfectly with the topic that we are talking about today. And we're going to get into it in a segment that I love to call Dear Keandra. The anonymous question reads, I feel like I don't fit in. I don't think I'm an extrovert. I wouldn't consider myself an introvert either. Is there something wrong with me? Or should I just accept the fact that I am different? Please help. Listen, nothing is wrong with you, but we gonna get into that right now as I break down the difference between an introvert, an extrovert, and an ambivert. But if you are one of those people who have a burning question that you want featured on the Keandra Jackson Show, make sure to send us an email to info at keandrajackson.com and your question might be featured on the next episode. I try not to get too psychology nerdy geeked out for y'all, but introverts, extroverts, and ambiverts, sometimes called omnivert, but we gonna use ambivert for this situation. This is a psychology term that describes different personalities and how you show up in social situations along with how you gain and give out energy. This was coined by a psychologist named Carl Jung and then it was furtherly developed by Carl Rogers later on. But this ain't a psychology lesson. Let me get to what I want to talk to y'all about. So let's start with an introvert and I hope this is going to start to answer your question. An introvert basically enjoys solitude. They don't have to be around a whole bunch of people. They are very introspective. These are the people who may like to stay home and they don't necessarily want to be around large crowds or a whole bunch of people like amusement parks and concerts and you know, large family functions and friend functions are not really their specialty. They may go, but they get most of their energy by being alone. They're comfortable in like more quieter settings. They are more introspective. If I haven't said that already, they like to go inward. They don't have to do a whole bunch of talking. And I don't want to call these people loners, but they kind of are loners, right? They enjoy being alone intentionally. And they find that when they are in larger crowds around a whole bunch of people having to do a lot of that, they feel drained. And that's why they enjoy being by themselves more than being in larger crowds because they find themselves to be depleted after being around a whole bunch of people. And we don't want that, right? We need for their energy to be up and stuck. So if that means they have to be around smaller groups of people or do more smaller, intimate, or even solo activities, that's perfectly fine as well. One of the key characteristics for introverts that I absolutely love is that they're more about depth than breadth. Okay, they're more about the depth going deeper and having intimate conversations and going deep with you and getting to know you versus like getting to know a whole bunch of people on a very shallow level. So if you are friends with an introvert, if you think you might be an introvert or whoever you are watching this video, it's important to know how you stand and where you are at on this continuum because I like to think about introversion, extroversion, and ambivert as a continuum. You got introvert on one side, you got extrovert on one side, and then you got ambiverts who are dead smack in the middle, which we're gonna talk about in a second. But let's talk about what an extrovert is. So an extrovert is a person that literally thrives in social situations. These are the people that are the life of the party. They out dancing, pop locking in the middle of the dance floor. They are circled around a whole bunch of people. They know how to work the room, so to speak, and talk to this person and be everywhere. Like they are essentially someone who gains a lot of their fuel and energy from being around other people. And these people tend to be more talkative. They tend to be more outgoing. They tend to be more like energy seeking. And not to say that it's a bad thing, but they enjoy, like they enjoy the spotlight, right? And they tend to feel like if they're at home or if they're by themselves or if they're in like smaller crowds, that they're bored or they're less fulfilled or, you know, it's just not a cracking situation. They particularly like to be 
at the concerts, right? They like to be at the large family functions. They like to be at amusement parks. They enjoy being around a whole bunch of people. And again, this is what fuels them and this is what gives them more energy to keep going. One of the key characteristics that I love about introverts is that their thoughts and their emotions are more readily available. So these are the people that can hold conversations, right? Have you ever talked to somebody and they may be in that introvert category where you're like, pulling teeth and struggling to keep the conversation going. They don't know what to say. They're kind of more reserved and boring and introspective and they got to think before they say, like, not to say that that's a bad thing, but extroverts, they don't have that problem. They can keep a conversation going. They know what to say. Their thoughts, their feelings come readily available to them. It's just an ongoing, easy flowing conversation. That is one of the key characteristics that I love about introverts because I also enjoy very great conversations. So to hold that with somebody and they're able to keep that conversation going and not let it die now is super dope. So look, let's get into the ambivert. The person who had this anonymous question, I believe this is where you fall because you said that you didn't feel like you're an extrovert and you didn't feel like you're an introvert. That means boo boo, you are dead smack in the middle. And how do I know? Ding! because your girl is also an ambivert. I know that some people watch my videos, they see me on TV and speaking engagements and media and all of these things. And they think Keandra's an extrovert, right? Like she loves the crowd. She loves being in front of a lot of people. She enjoys that, that fuels her and all of those things. But guess what? I am also someone who loves to fall back. I really do all of the things that I do because it's my job. I do all of the things that I do because it's the purpose that God put me on the face of this planet to do. I don't know that if God didn't put this purpose and this plan in my life and on my life's path that I would do it. I don't think I will be speaking on stages and being on TV and doing all of those things. I don't think that would be the name of the game for me. So if you know me in real life, so these are the people who know me. If you know me in real, real, real life, you know that I'll be at the house. <laughs> you know that I'll be chilling. You know that it's, if it's a family function and a whole bunch of people are gonna be there, I might leave early or I might come late or you know I might not engage with a whole bunch of different people. Like it's just very different for me. And so people think because they know and they see the outward version of who I am, the extroverted version of who I am, that I am an extrovert. And in all reality, I'm actually an introvert. I have my moments where I can turn on the introversion, right? Because of what I need to do in life. <laughs> and as a business owner and all of those things, media personality, but then I also have it where I can turn it down, honey. And because I have to do all of the, you know, the dancing and the being in front of the people and the talking and the taking the selfies and doing all of those things. I enjoy my solitude, my alone time. I enjoy kicking it by myself, going to eat by myself, going to movies by myself. Like I enjoy that to be honest with you. And just, you know, I don't want, you know, my future husband who's listening to be like, oh yeah, she don't want me. I want you boo. Like go ahead and come on up, pull up on your girl. Okay. I'm not going to be an introvert with you. Okay. <laughs> Let me act right, but what I'm essentially saying is that an ambivert is dead smack in the middle on that continuum that I talked about. And I use myself as an example, but essentially what I'm saying is that there is a balance of those personality traits that the introverts and the extroverts don't necessarily have, right? The extroverts just gonna be extreme all the time. The introverts is gonna be low key all the time, but for the ambiverts like ourselves, we know how to turn it up when it needs to be and turn it down when it needs to be, right? And so there's just a basically like, there's harmony between how we show up in the world and how we gain our energy, right? And so when I do wanna go out and I do wanna be around a lot of people, I do that, but I also have to prepare my mind, <laughs> prepare my body, <laughs> talk myself into it and be like, okay, girl, you about to be around 5,000 people today. They're gonna be pulling on you on all of the different strings, like prepare yourself, get prayed up, like do what needs to be done in order to be able to uh, complete the assignment essentially. So who you are and how you show up in the world is essentially depending on the social situation and how you want to feel in that if you're an ambivert. Because essentially we're very like a chameleon, right? Like I can turn up and enjoy being around a whole bunch of people at times. And then I can also enjoy just solitude or very small intimate groups. And so it's almost like we are able to do this song and dance in different social situations that other person 
personality types are not able to do. So one of the key characteristics that I absolutely love about being an ambivert is, is that I can be introspective or we can be introspective, but also outgoing at the same time. So I can have those deep conversations and that depth that introverts have, but I can also have the turn up, <laughs> turn upness that extroverts have depending on the group setting. And so I love being able to kind of like mesh those two. And I think that this is something that people, people don't believe me when I tell them I'm dead smack in the middle. And I'm like, bro, how are you going to tell me what my personality trait, how are you going to tell me what I enjoy and how I like to give and receive energy from other people? Like I am in the middle. As I give my final thoughts on this, because it's a wrap. I just wanted to let the anonymous person who sent in their questions know that you are not weird. There's nothing wrong with you. I think you just needed to figure out where you land and where you stay and where you live on the personality trait when it comes to introversion, extroversion, and being an ambivert. From what I saw about your question, you tend to probably fall more into the ambivert version. So if I were you, I would absolutely go beyond just watching this video, but I will, you know, do a little bit more research, dig into it, read some books, do something so you can better understand yourself, which also means you will better understand how other people are going to interact with you. And you can let them know like, hey, 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 this environment doesn't bring me the joy that I need. It's actually sucking the life out of me. And I'm choosing to do this. And you'll know that you don't have to feel bad or sorry for not showing up to events or choosing to stay only for a short amount of time. You're doing what is best for you in regards to your energy and regards to your personality. So thank you so much for watching another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show. I hope this was helpful for you. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. So stay updated on all of my weekly videos that I have coming your way. I'll see you next time. Bye.